are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. Help him, Michelangelo! He's hurt bad! Uh. All right, everyone. So the first four minutes of the rise of the TMNT movie has been shown. This dropped on YouTube earlier today, and there's a lot to break down. There are some things that happen in this pretty big moment that if you want to go into this thing fresh, you don't want to be spoiled, definitely click away now because we're going to break down everything. But yeah, let's waste no more time and go ahead and talk about some of the things that we saw. So the clip starts off in New York in the year 2044. We see an injured Leonardo looking down at a picture of his family as he and Casey Jones appear to be running away from some enemies. These enemies look intense. We see some wild demon-like dogs approaching. There's also these giant things in the distance that kind of look like the exoskeletons that house the Krang inside of the abdomen, which we saw in the trailer for this movie. Now, there are explosions going off everywhere, aircrafts falling out of the sky, and the city looks desolate. It's an absolute war zone. You see them heading to what looks like their own base, as you see that there's allies of theirs, one being Todd, who is a character from the show, uh, trying to hold down the front line with some others who appear to have died. Uh, Casey Jones pleads with Leonardo to stay with him and not die, and you see that Leonardo is bleeding, and it looks like his injury is pretty bad. I do believe this is the first time we see blood in Rise of the TMNT, so it does appear that they are pushing the envelope a bit more with this movie. I think that's a good thing. When it comes to the turtles i do think when there are stakes like this it just gives it a little extra gravity to the stories and so far i'm liking what i'm seeing uh let's keep going here uh just as leo and casey are about to get hit by some of the demon dogs mikey arrives to save them and you can just tell that over the years this version of mikey has mastered and grown his mystic abilities he looks like dr strange now and he does this move that just kills all the enemies that are like within their radius which was pretty cool to see uh casey asks michelangelo to help Leonardo, but it appears that it is too late for that. Leonardo even says that the resistance has failed and that the Krang have won. And you see that more enemies are starting to approach, killing their allies. But then Leonardo says that they still have a ninja's greatest weapon, which is hope. And also, and this is his words, a badass mystic warrior, Michelangelo, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't remember them saying stuff like that in the show. They definitely look like they got a little bit more freedom to say and show different stuff having this premiere on Netflix. I believe. I'm not sure about that, but that definitely is what it feels like. Uh, let's keep going. Leo asks Mikey to do a time gateway, and Mikey tells him that it'll take everything he has, but that okay. And this is when we see Mikey start the gateway while Leonardo explains to Casey Jones what he needs to do and look for when he gets back to the past. He draws him an image of what the key that was used to bring Krang to Earth looks like. He tells him to find the key and stop the Krang. And then we get an emotional moment between the two and Casey tells him that he doesn't want to lose him, which was super sad. But then you see the giant enemies arrive and uh, the turtles are surrounded. Well, Leo Michelangelo, at least. We don't see Donatello or Raphael at all in this clip. I believe it is implied that they are already dead at this point in the future. As we see, Leonardo had to get one of his arms replaced with Raphael's arm. And he also carries both Raphael and Donatello's bandana around, most likely in memory of them. So yeah, they're surrounded and it cuts over to Michelangelo who is opening the time gateway and you can see that his body is starting to crack. You see a look of concern on his face, but he keeps on pushing. Casey sees something is wrong and yells no to Michelangelo who turns around and gives Casey a wink just before he is killed opening the time gateway. Leo grabs Casey by the shoulder and tells him when he's done saving the world to grab a slice of pizza as he throws Casey into the gateway and we see Casey with tears in his eyes looking back as he falls into the time gateway and we see what he sees leonardo rushing towards the enemies fighting them and then getting killed by a beam that shoots from one of the giant ones yeah this is a cool opening i'm digging the way this movie is starting off it flashes to the present and casey jones arrives on the floor in the middle of the city casey gets up and begins immediately on his mission and starts running and he runs over a manhole cover which then reveals the title of the movie and we hear a part of the rise of the tmn 
TNT show's theme song, which I feel like for fans of the show just brought back some memories that they had back when they were watching it. And then we see something interesting. We see something pull the manhole cover down and it kind of looks like when Krang takes over the foot soldiers, that creature thing that comes out of them that we saw in the trailer. But anyways, that was everything we saw in the four minutes of the Rise of the TMNT movie that was just released. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. This movie comes out on Netflix in a couple days. I will do a full breakdown review sometime after, so subscribe if you're new if you want to check all that out. Remember to follow on all the social medias. Links are down below in the description. And I will see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care. Armed.